This podcast brought to you by RusticGardensCandles.com, specialty candles that will blow your mind. They even have candles that look like milk and cookies or a slice of cake. Remember that holidays are fast approaching. Check out RusticGardensCandles.com. Tell them Demon sent you. Hello, everybody. This demon here. How are you doing today? JJ. Hey. Last time, <clears throat> yeah. on Pathfinding Skyrim. I almost died over a stupid book. You almost died over a stupid book. Well, thanks for being reassuring. I was <laughs> hoping you'd say it's an important book. Well, it's important to uh, Sinners. Yeah, this guy. What is he to me? I don't know. Um... Right now, just somebody who told you that your thing was a focus for frost stuff. Yeah, you better you better have something good for me after this is all over. Blue. Yeah, set everything up here. By the way, did I find any gold on any of these bodies? Uh, just wait a minute. All right. Yeah, you could loot the bodies, but I find that almost annoying to point. Yeah, I forgot about that. All right, um, but you did just, um, you got to the back of this cave type thing. And um, the back of this cave type thing is more open. It's more actual cave-like. And you see one of those great big dragon stone things in the back corner. Okay. And uh, Sinners, like, walks over there and like, wow, this is interesting. He's kind of like poking at some of the symbols and stuff like that. Okay. Um, but then he like shakes his head and like, okay, um, search for the book. Okay. So, I'll use my perception to see if I find the book. Okay, you can use your perception. That's what I was going to do. Alright, let's use my perception to see if I find the book. I rolled a 9 plus 1, I think? 10? Um, okay. Uh, plus 1. So, yeah, 10. You think it's a great idea to go look in the desk. Okay. And you find one book of enchanting. Ah, I found it. Awesome. And, uh, I found the gold that uh, I paid for it. Um, yeah. Now give and, it to me. And he, like, holds up this bag. And he, like, gives it a, a little bit of toss up and down, like, feeling the weight of it. And he says, actually, it feels like it's a little bit more. And he throws you the bag. Oh, thank you. So I got, like, how much from that? There is a bag full of 450 gold pieces. Oh my gosh, I went from 250-something to five, six, almost 700 gold pieces. 701. Yes, 701 gold pieces. Awesome. Is there anything you could do in that book to help me figure out with my pen in? Uh, you know, I didn't even think of that. I mean, he takes the book, and he starts looking through it, and thinks, uh, honestly, no, this is really just enchanting stuff. No, oh, damn it. Um, but it should be able to make you some stuff, which would be good. Can, can you, like, make my health all better? I don't know. That's going to take some experimentation. All right, make me some stuff. All right, well, right now we got to leave. All right. I like, ain't staying uh, here too long. Yeah, well, when we get back, make me some things. Like some pumpkin pie or something. All right, um, so you're going to head out. Yep. And, um... Uh, you're going to start traveling back home. Eventually, you get to tonight time. Tonight time, and I gotta check and see if I see anything. Yes. Uh, you can say all your wounds are healed. You are at Yay. full health. It's about time. I was almost dead a few times. Oh, I have 40 health. Yeah. Yay for level up. Yay, like way level up. Alright, so then. I didn't give you toughness. What? Why didn't you give me toughness? 
Tough as fuck. It's okay. You can get it in your next feet. Feats. All right. So you want me to roll? Uh, yeah. Roll your perception. I rolled a one. You rolled a one on your perception. Yeah, fell asleep. Yep, you fell asleep. What happened? Uh, well, nothing seems to happen. But um, as you wake up, you notice figures way off to your right. Now you had, you know, um, made up camp kind of near a bridge. Yeah. And, um, like, there's people standing over by the bridge now, where there wasn't when you started. Okay. And they probably passed you while you were sleeping. Now, this is good news, because they didn't ransack your camp or whatnot while you were, uh, sleeping. Okay. So they're probably not hostile. But, um, yeah. Yeah. You didn't see him. Okay. okay. Good job. So, that's a good thing, then, that I didn't see them. Um, okay. Sleep through the night. Or stay on watch, whatever. Is this the night over? No, yeah, the night's over. You're, wo- you're waking up. And uh, Sinners is in his bunk sleeping where he's supposed to be sleeping when he's supposed to be sleeping. The bad. And there's some guys over by the bridge. And they seem to be just chilling up there. Anyway, I can do a perception to see if uh, I notice anything. If you want. Okie doke. Woohoo! Clear, 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 clear. I rolled an 8 plus 1. I got a motherfucking 9, bitch. <laughs> 9. Okay. Um... So, it's a little hazy in the morning. Can't see all that well. Um, Obviously, there's figures over there. There seems to be about two guys, or girls, can't tell from this point, and it looks like there might be somebody else on the other side of the bridge. So, would we actually need them for anything? I think we're good. Well, you had us cross the bridge in order to head home. Okay, well, they, they don't look dangerous, do they? Well, they look like thugs. But then again, they probably walked past your camp and didn't bother you. Okay, so they're waiting up ahead. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to say, how about I go forward, and if they give me any issues, which they shouldn't because I look scary as fuck, but if they do, uh, then you got my back, right? Yeah, sure, no problems. All right. And he pulls out his crossbow. Let's let's do the, the this dirty deed. Let's get him. Or hopefully we don't get them. Hopefully nobody gets anybody. Alrighty. So, you're going to approach these guys? Yep. No, I'm not approaching them. I'm trying to walk past them. I'm just trying to use the bridge. Oh, well, as you um start getting closer, you notice they are armored, uh, leather armor. They are carrying weapons, swords, uh, long sword, I think. Yeah. If I could find my page with them on here. Okay. Um, one of them's got two swords. Okay. Two swords. Ooh. And the other Ooh, guy's yeah. got a bow. Shit. Hopefully they don't start no trouble. And um, as you get closer to the bridge, you see that there is what <clears throat> looks like might be an orc sitting on the other side in the same way that these guys are sitting over here. Brother! <laughs> Um, there's an orc sitting on the other side of the bridge, so there's, like, four of them or whatever. There's there's three people. Can we just go around the bridge? Uh, you could if you wanted to go through the water, swim, and then, like, not try not to die of hypothermia. Oh, uh, okay. So, uh, you're going to approach the entrance to the bridge? Yep. Walk past them. And, uh, before you get there, like, hey, nice morning. Yep. And uh, as you get closer, he like walks out in front of you and says, "Um, we are collecting the toll for this bridge." There's no fucking toll to this bridge. What are you talking about? 
Uh, this bridge is owned by the uh, Jarl of Whiterun, Jarl Volgriff. We uh, we collect the tolls. How much? Two hundred gold. This is ridiculous, Davis. Is this ridiculous? Uh, this is yeah, ridiculous. this is ridiculous. Um, a gold would probably get you a good meal. Yeah. Okay. No. Two hundred to cross a bridge is okay. way excessive. Okay, I'm not even gonna say nothing. I'm just gonna attack them. Okay. <laughs> just gonna launch out with my axe and just swing it at them. I want to scare the shit out of them. Can you pause it real quick? I'll pee. Yeah. All right. Ready? Go. Ready. Um, you gonna attack him? Yep. I'm just rah, anger and rage. He's done, son. Do, 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 do. Um. I hope he shits his pants too. Okay, so the guy stopping you is the guy with the bow. Good. 14, 14. And we'll call him blue and yellow. Cinderus is behind you. Cinderus. And purple is on the other side of the bridge. All right. Ready. Wait, why, why do you call him purple? Uh, that's because I'm using a purple-colored dice to mark his location. Okay. I like that program you used to use. You don't use that no more? Uh, it's way too much setup time. Oh, I like that. Okay, but yeah, I guess that's fine. Okay. All right. Okay. And you're just going to slice, so you get a um, surprise round. Okay, I get a surprise round. I'm rolling. Yep. I rolled a thir- 13 plus 8. Damn. Uh, yeah. Okay, that hits him, right? That hits him. And then a two plus seven. Oh, crap. Um, yeah, that would be seven. Seven? Uh, you said two plus seven? Yeah. Eight, nine. Um, you just leveled up, and I just thought of that. Yeah, I didn't get to put my any of that up. Yeah, um... You don't do any more damage, but you do five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine. You do a plus nine to your attack. Oh, sweet. Let me fix that. Oh, hey, Les, why didn't you tell me about that? Cause I well, I hit him regardless. I hit him regardless. Can I re-roll for my... Uh... From my damage? No. Fuck off, Davis. Alright, nine. Alright, so, uh, seven, eight, nine. So nine damage I did to him. Cut his lip open. Yeah, you, uh, surprised the hell out of him. Now you get to roll, (laughs) or you get to roll, um... Tell him I don't fuck around. Roll initiative. Fifteen. Plus one, right? Uh, fifteen? Plus one. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, is it plus one? Yeah. Okay, 15 plus one. Uh, the guy you hit rolled a, a one. And the other guy hit a 20. So, dex is plus two. Dex is plus four. Cyrus goes first. Alrighty. So... You just went up and cut this guy. Yeah. That gives Sinners the okay to um, shoot. Fire. Ah, uh, he's gonna completely miss. Fucking Sinners, dumb motherfucker. Okay. It is now Blue's turn. Blue pulls both his swords, and um, this is gonna hurt. Oh shit. Oh, you shit me. Well, he gets to roll two dice, and he rolled double sevens. Wow. Um, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, ten. Ten damage? No, ten to hit your AC. Oh, no. <laughs> He's yeah. like 16. He, he he like, this is a sudden thing, and you slice this one guy, and um, Sinris fires an arrow at the blue guy, as he's pulling out a sword, and he swings at you with both swords, and completely misses. Yeah, he swipes it is now. Edge's turn. 
These two guys are adjacent if you would wish to cleave. Yes, please. Alright, cleaving. I rolled an 18 plus 9. Uh, that hits the first assume. guy. See if you hit the second guy. I rolled a 19 plus 9. Damn it. Um, both of them. You can roll your damage for the first guy. I rolled a 2 plus 7, which is a 7, 8, 9. Okay, give me a second. Nine minus one. Okay, roll your damage for the other guy. Okay. Uh, uh, Eleven plus seven. Damn. What did I wreck them? Uh, no. Well, yeah, you. They're both bloodied. What? They're both bloodied. Okay. Cheesy peasies. Um, it is Yellow's turn. He is going to drop his bow, draw a long sword, and strike at you. Twelve plus five. Twelve plus five is seventeen. Seventeen hits your AC? Yes, it does. Uh, yeah, it does. 1d8. That's a d10. D8, 8, 8. Uh, 6 damage. 6 to my 40? Yep. Okay, one sec. Uh, no. Um, let me get, uh, shit. Phone's not unlocking. There we go. Okay, only 40 minus 6 is 34. Sinners is going to load his crossbow and fire again at Blue. My boy Blue! Oh, and he actually did something good. Who did? Um, that is a crit. Oh, yay! And Blue's the one with the dual swords, right? Um, yes, Blue actually, is the you one didn't, with the dual swords. You didn't tell me, did I kill any of the two that I cleaved at? Uh, you bloodied them. Mm. 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, Put the okay. herd on them. Hold on. Right, Davy. I need to roll Davey, son. a d8. Put the herd on them. 6 plus 8. 14 points of damage on blue. Blue takes an arrow to the face. Not the knee, the face. An arrow to the knee. Yeah, and he just couples over. Ouch. Ouch. Blue is now out of the running. It is Edge's turn. Yellow is right in front of you. I'm going for yellow. He's getting an axe to the top of the dome. I'm chopping him in half, motherfucker. (laughs) Okay. I rolled an 8 plus 9 is basically a 20 almost. Ah, uh, that's a hit. Okay. And I rolled a 1 for damage for, for plus damage. 7. Plus 7. Eight. Yep. Which leaves him alive. Oh, it's really? Is he bloody? Oh, yeah, he's bloody to all the hell. He looks at you, he's like, you son of a bitch. Uh-huh. And he pulls up his long sword to strike at you again. Um, six, seven, eight. Oh, that's uh, 11. 11? Yep. Ah, oh, shit. 34. No, versus AC. Oh, no, he doesn't hit me. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you said that was his damage. No. Uh, he don't hit me. He sucks. Yep. Um, Cinerus loads crossbow, fires, misses. Your turn. Oh. Attacking again. I look Tell. at him and smile. He's gonna die. Look at him and smile. I roll a 12 plus 9 and I hit him. Yep. And then I roll a 5 plus 7. He's dead. He is down. <laughs> But 
There's a sound of his head coming off <laughs> his spine. <laughs> Dead. Right. That's him sh- shitting his pants. <laughs> you have two guys who are dead. Yeah. You have an orc walking across the bridge towards you. An orc walking across the bridge towards me. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to yell to him. I'm going to say... I, no, I'm going to kill him because... Uh, All right. Yeah, because if I leave him alive, he's just going to come after me. So, what you see, he's not running. All right, he's calmly walking towards you. And um, he's... He's not very well dressed. Like, he's got the, um... He might just be a bomb. (laughs) Like, that fur kind of stuff around his waist and whatnot. He is bare-chested, like, not wearing any type of shirt or anything. And uh, he's not armed, either. Okay, I'm just going to say to him, um, we mean no harm. This can all be over. I know he's probably just a bomb. Um, As he gets closer, you know how you're, like, excessively tall? Yeah. He's taller than you. Holy shit. This guy is a mountain, and he's built like a brick shit house. Holy fuck. And um, he's kind of got this bluish-gray skin. Like mine. It's a little bit more bluer. Like my parent. And, um... (laughs) It's not shine. He walks... He's starting to walk straight up to you. Yeah. Are you a nice giant? 15 feet away? Yeah. 10 feet away? Uh... He raises a fist. Oh, he's gonna punch me? Looks like it. Um... I'll tell him one more time to stop and see if that does anything. Five feet away. Five feet away. Oh, shh. <laughs> I don't know. He's like, he's probably one of my parents. He punches you. Oh, shit. Um, 15 plus 6. 21 hit your AC. Oh, yeah. Okay. He does... Three damage. Oh, that's it? Um, and you need to roll a DC... Or, uh, you need to roll a uh, constitution save. Okay. Which is so, a, a D20 plus seven. So, I guess... So, wait, hold on. Okay, so I'm at 31% health now, right? Yeah. Because you said he got a three... Three damage. Thirty-one health. And he's like the boss. He's probably an ice giant. Um. Can I ask him if he's ever seen my medallion before? He just punched you in the face, and you have to roll a DC say, or you have to roll a, a fortitude saving throw. Okay, so I rolled a twenty. Oh, I got a twenty. Crit. Okay. Um, So no, you do not take damage from this. Um, Obviously, hits you. He hits you in the face, which is a pretty hard blow. Plus two. Wow, he's a weakling orc. (laughs) You made him. Yeah, I I just realized I screwed up. Um, Anyway, um, he hits you. And okay. not only do you feel the impact of his fist, it's almost as if frost is hitting you. Like you just got hit in the face like a big snowball. It's an ice giant. And um, uh, you shake off the cold pretty quick here. Um. Okay. And then I show my medallion and I said, do you recognize this? That's your action? Yeah, Davis. I don't know what, what you want me to do. I don't get any hints of what to say to him or what to do. You're just telling me, yeah, he's basically one of you, but I don't know what to tell you. 
Okay, well, he punches you again. Damn it. Um, he's going to swing at you, and he's going to miss. Okay, I guess I'm going to swing at him, even though this could be my only only way of uh, getting to find out. Am I right? Uh, well, no, it's not your only way. I have this planned out. Obviously, he's not saying anything. Okay, so I'm going to attack him. Okay. Okay, I gave you your shot. You're done, son. I rolled a 4, plus 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I won't hit him. Nope. That's a miss. Okay. I missed him. Alright. He is going to send a punch your way. Yay! I love getting punched. And he crits. All oh, crit fails? No, he crit um, critical hit. Oh, shit. So, that is 6 damage, because I made him really weak. Nice. Good job. Um, You have to roll a fortitude saving throw. So, 31, because he's freezing me every time he hits me. How much damage was it? 6 damage. So, I'm at 25 health now. He's beating me up. I rolled a 5. Okay, you take another five points of damage. Shit. As this wave of cold just envelops the area where you were hit. I'm at 20. And now do I get to roll again? Uh, now it's your turn. Oh, he's something, he's gonna end up killing me. Uh, right, you want me gonna... to shoot him? Yeah, are you gonna do anything? I was I, waiting for I, I forgot about him. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, he'll go right now. Hope fire. Um, eleven damage. No, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, yeah, he buries an arrow in this guy. Okay. And um, four. He gets him for four points. Four points, nice. Which is nothing. The arrow just sticks out of his skin. Yeah. He, like, reaches up and just kind of, like, flicks it off of him. Okay. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to swing at him again. Okay. I roll the crit, 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 make it rain, crit. You hit a 20? Yep. Roll again. The 20? Yep. 16. 16. Okay. Um... So you do a d12 of damage, right? Uh, yeah, I do. You do a d12. Roll another d12. or Yeah, roll a d12. Eight. Plus eight. And then what's your strength modifier? Seven? Yep. Plus seven. So that is 27 points of damage. Holy shit. So, so you... You distracted him, and I pretty much put my axe into his stomach. Into his yeah. under his rib. I just lunged it in. You just lunge at him with your axe and rip him open. Ah, he he's seems nice really pissed. What the fuck? He doesn't die? Nope. Oh my god. Alrighty. In fact, he seems to almost go into a rage. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so his intestines are hanging out. How Ice giant. To... Ice giant orc. Oh, he crits. That's not good. Oh. Ah, uh, that means I'm dead. Um, yeah, that's not good. Okay, Why so... Why is he so big and so weak? Six, six damage. Okay, I'm dead. Um, roll your fortitude save. 20 minus 6 equals 14. Okay, so I have 14 health, and I rolled a 12. 12 plus 7. So, yeah, you save. Okay. So you're only down to 14 health. Okay. Now where's the bow and arrow guy? Um, Sinus. He's going to use burning hands. Yay, about time he does something. So, 
So let's see if he saves. Nope. Okay, he fails his reflex save, which means he has to take 10 points of damage. Shit. So right, he Edge. hurt himself for using that? No. Um, the orc takes oh. 10 points of damage. Your turn. Okay. I rolled a 15 plus 9, which means I hit him. Okay. 15 plus 9, you hit him, yes. And then a 6 plus 7, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13. How much is it? 13? 6 plus 7. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, 13. Sorry, kids, we can't math. Yeah, well, I, I'm, I'm not good with math. We went to Niagara where the N stands for knowledge. That's not very nice to all the other kids that went there, but okay. <laughs> All right, his turn. He is going to grapple you. Is he bloodied yet? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. He should be dead. All right. Um, 12 versus your CMD, which is 19. He tries to grab a hold of you, but uh, fails. No, bitch. Uh, I'm... He's probably trying to hug me because he's probably my parent. Um, can I attack him? Yes. All right, I'm gonna attack, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack him again. Is 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 that one guy shooting arrows at him still? Uh, he missed. Okay, my turn. I'm gonna attack. Go. Fifteen plus nine, I hit him. Yep. And I roll the eleven plus seven is uh eighteen. And you can describe how you kill him. Uh, just axe to the head and cut his head off. To the axe to the neck, swipe, cut head, flips in the air and hits the ground. And I can't, I can't tell what to feel because I know he was probably the closest uh, thing I would have to figuring out who I was. And now he's dead. And. Uh, I know something was up with him because he was different than the other orcs. Yep. Um, that happens. But, you know, he didn't really uh, give you give anything, me a choice. did he? No. Can I search him? Oh, yeah. I'm, gonna find my, I'm probably going to find my medallion. Yep. It's, like, the only thing around his neck. And, and I, I showed him my medallion. Yep. And uh, he didn't even blink. Okay, well, shit. I'm going to talk to um, the guy about it. Um, what's he well, got to say? he was big. Yeah. He, can can he you had... tell that I'm... Sorry, go. I was going to say, can you tell that I'm... Uh, that I was upset by it. Um, I don't know. You tell me. Do you actually appear upset? Yes. Okay, yes, you can tell. the closest thing I had to figuring it out. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do now. It was really big, and almost killed me. Yeah, well, he didn't slow down. No. He didn't say anything either. No, I didn't have a choice. I had to. Well... What you gonna do? What am I gonna do? That's the way things are out here. Yeah. Can I search him and see what he's got on him? Um, he had the thing around his waist, boots, and the medallion on his neck. Okay. Thing around his waist, boot, and medallion. All right. Well, I'm gonna take the medallion. Ready. You now have two medallions. Yay! I collect them. Um. And, yeah, that's about it. Crazy. What's crazy? Well, people have the medallion thing. I mean, I only saw the medallion thing yesterday. Yeah, so. and now I, there's C told you. I wasn't making it up. I wasn't fibbing. He's huge. Right. Yeah, he's an ice giant. That's like me. Told you they exist. Well, he's an orc. Yeah, it's... it's I don't know. I don't know anything about it. 
I don't know how it works. That might actually be a good question to ask other orcs. Yes. Uh, maybe try some of the strongholds around here. Okay. I can maybe uh, find you a map of the closest one uh, when we get back. Sounds good. Alrighty. Oh, so, search it. Heading off to um, Redoran's Mine. Yep, back to Redoran's Mine. Back to the Redoran Mine. Uh, long journey. I'm going to retire and just work in the mine. I'm not <laughs> cut out for this uh, adventure and stuff. Okay. Anyway, um, so you get back to Ritterin's mine, and okay. uh, Sarah says to give him a day. And, okay. And um, I'm gonna go rest up so I can heal. Yep. You rest up, heal. And next time you see Cyrus, he has this great big. Um, it's like a dire wolf pelt. Yeah. And uh, so it's big enough to like cover you. Is essentially it is a cloak. Okay. And uh, he gives it to you as well. Uh, this is my first experiment. Um, I hope it's good enough for now. It works. And it is a cloak of resistance. Cloak of resistance. Plus one to four to four to. Plus one to fortitude, reflex, and will saves. Yay! So fortitude goes to eight, reflex goes to two, and will goes to one. Um, no, I screwed up. Well, yeah, no, I, I didn't screw up. I forgot to tell you about that. Um, when you leveled up, those stuff went up. Oh, so now what's it at? Uh, fortitude is eight. Okay. Reflex is three. Okay. And will is two. Okay. I never need to use that stuff. Uh, it shows up as um, more magic people show up, and um, the fortitude is is used a lot for um, poison and cold. Okay. Uh, reflex is used a lot for traps and heat and stuff and will is generally charm attacks okay Are we? Oh, so so I got you has I have to finish writing this down click of resistance plus one two fort will ref Okay. That's all I have written down for this uh, this session. So that's the end of it? This is the end of this session. <laughs> all right. So, Edge. Yes. Um, currently, you are a orc who is currently in Ritalin's Mine. You now have two of these medallion things. Okay. Um, you were said maybe try a work stronghold. Yep. Um, Cyrus will come up with a map that shows you, you know, there's a stronghold here, 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 here. Whatever. Okay. And I have and, to go check all of them out. Um, you currently have a room in a secret underground base type thing. That seems to be connected yep. to the town hall. And yep. anybody you've ever seen down there has that little cog symbol. Yes, I'm part of the group. And, um... So what's your plans? Um... I'm going to... Go on my journey to one of the orc places. Hurdy. So, um, I will write down here, Edge prepares to find an orc stronghold.
edge prepares to find a stronghold. And uh, that is where we will leave off today. Okay. We will see you next week in the bye continuing bye. adventures of Edge. Peace out, motherfuckers. <laughs>